Empezamos. Um, Tom, toda la plana mayor de Clarks en Barcelona. Uh, ¿Puedes explicarnos por qué? Can you explain us why you guys are here? Well, for us, we're developing our brand and our, and our brand positioning within uh, Europe and the world. Barcelona is a very important city for lots of reasons, for fashion, for its cosmopolitan approach, and it makes perfect sense for us to open one of our new design stores in such a city, Dígame, ¿cómo afronta una marca legendaria como Clarks en, en Europa seis años un poco de, rece, de, de recesión respecto al consumo también del calzado? For Clarks, um, like any other business, we've had to recognize para what Clarks, that means to us. Eh, um, hemos visto lo que ha significado we, para nosotros. We've been investing in our brand during hemos, the last five, six years with, with the, with the economic conditions. En la, en la marca en los últimos cinco o seis años. We've eh, had to put different priorities onto where we feel it's appropriate. Pero hemos tenido que seleccionar dónde era apropiado estar, pero, pero durante estos eh, so, tiempos hemos seguido creciendo. Brand, o sea, teniendo problemas económicos en estos años, hemos seguido creciendo. Me pregunto, ¿cuántas de las estrategias de antes de 2008 se han podido mantener a medio y largo plazo desde que estalló la crisis? It's been a big change from the crisis. I think, I think there's, there's, the strategy in terms of developing and positioning la the brand del is consistent. De la marca sigue but what we have done, I guess, is pero lo que hemos hecho realigned the, the pace of, of development. Real, so, realinear el, said, el we, desarrollo de la marca. Year, hemos seguido creciendo año but tras año. I guess, like most other companies, we, we, pero como we've otras realigned our thinking empresas, in terms of When we want to be somewhere hemos vuelto a repensar dónde queremos estar y cuándo y en qué momento so en, en el tiempo. Se ha cambiado los tiempos, pero la, stores, el posicionamiento de la marca, el retail, seguimos estando donde, donde queríamos y donde la estrategia estaba planteada. ¿Y dónde, dónde es exactamente donde querían estar? Where do we want to be? Well, yeah. I think we want to be a, a brand that's positioned for people's lifestyle choice. Um, we want to have the right brand experience at every touch point. So a store like this is a great example of the consumer experience, the, the product offering, the, the, the service experience, um, and also uh, online e-commerce. We want the same feeling, the same creative uh, el, el mismo backdrop, sentimiento, uh, la brand, misma experiencia de la marca en todos los diferentes canales so y en, también really en el wholesale. Channel, en todos los canales in, de venta queremos estar for, eh, que, for que el consumidor piense en nosotros como, como prioritaria marca con el, money, eh, como marca de moda, de estilo, so, pero con confort y... A first, a first purchase in someone's mind, positioned in the right distribution, I guess. La, la primera opción en la, en la, la hora de la compra en todos los canales. Eh, Clarks es una marca que mm, es muy tradicional, pero que cada ciertos años lanza un modelo que no sé por qué cala en, en el consumidor de una manera brutal. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que tienen en mente ahora o qué es lo que, lo, lo que planean? para volver a recuperar un po o, o, o reconquistar al, al consumidor en masa. Yeah, I mean it's a good question and, and a lot of what our strategy has been in the last um, three to five years is making sure the product offering is, is working alongside our strategy to appeal to new consumers. Historically, from an English base, Clarks was known as a very comfortable, sensible footwear brand. But over the last probably three years, particularly, we're, we're putting products in our collections that, that, that offer that, that a sensible purchase uh, opportunity, but also is catering for The, the more demanding consumer 
I mean, nowadays people see fashion at, que at every que touch point, más fashion, on their que phone, moda, you know, social media. So we need to make sure that those consumers Estos are getting que styling están en social media, that's en internet, pues que encuentren también el producto que so están buscando. So I think now, if you look at our collection of products today, even from where we were two years ago, si ves ahora la colección de, de producto quite, que tenemos, puedes ver que se ha cambiado bastante the, en las colecciones, de donde estábamos a donde estamos ahora. And, and, and the last question I was saying about the actual experience, for us the experience for that consumer at any, any channel, la experiencia para el consumidor eh, hand hand, hay un know. balance muy bueno entre, entre la tienda y lo que ofrecemos. Nuevos modelos, pero siempre basados en lo mismo, las mejores pieles y esa suela de crepe. Well, so, some of our classic collection. And the base leathers as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah but our, our classic uh, brand, uh, Clarks Originals, we use crepe material. It's a very iconic uh, Una brand. Una de nuestras marcas es Clarks Originals, um, que sí que utilizamos el crepe, la de Sergut, que es icónica. Which is uh, one of, it's our most iconic product we have globally. El producto más icónico que tenemos a nivel global. For different generations, de muchas that, generaciones. that means something uh, different. You know, we have young lifestyle purchasers who see Clarks Originals as a real authentic, original, iconic brand, and we, we opened a new store in Amsterdam quite recently, marca. purely original. So that, that's one element of what we offer, Amsterdam. but also our Clark's brand, which is our main brand, is, is less about that historical original, more to do with the history and the heritage of good quality footwear, comfortable, with, with, a, with a fashion confort, element, more, more so fashion increasingly. So it's kind of one piece from the history which we, we, we nurture and, we, and we, we treat like a, like a, like a baby because it's very important. But, but the last 50 years or more have been our Clark's brand and, and that, that consumer and what that means. So it's, it's kind of a parallel... Uh, y conviven de forma paralela en la oferta. Han llevado casi toda la, o ya toda la producción a Asia. ¿Cómo consiguen controlar la calidad? La producción está en Asia, casi. ¿Y cómo controlan la calidad? Más o menos, diría que el 90% de nuestra producción está en Asia. Un poquito en Centroamérica. Y algunos otros pocos. Pero Asia ofrece... Asia Pero offers Asia the capacity um, to be able to, to, to sell, uh, make, manufacture volumes para and volúmenes also at the right quality. De con la, um, um, there's other factories necesaria. elsewhere in the world that don't have the logistical otras, setup eh, to support the volumes. Países, they don't have the shoe expertise. Um, and over the last 10 con, con or 15 years, countries like años, Vietnam and China eh, um, China ha are sido much more sophisticated manufacturers than they used to be. De lo que eran. So, um, it, yeah, it makes sense to, uh, Tiene mucho sentido to have our, our, our sourcing, uh, tener eh, nuestra, we, we have teams of nuestra producción in in Vietnam, allí, en, en Vietnam, en China, la um, calidad de control. Tenemos a gente company, de nuestra empresa allí que high, chequeando uh, la calidad on, on, on and, y tenemos, and, eh, por supuesto, responsabilidad social con estas eh, workers, fábricas uh, para los empleados, them, eh, etc. cuidamos so, de ellos, so tienen ver todo el tema de salud, que no haya ningún problema. If you as a company have the right um, principles and you're working with the right si manufacturers, eh, los, and, um, los claros de lo que quieres, si but, las buenas uh, I mean, currently con... there's lots of companies looking elsewhere, looking at North Africa. Hay otros pa Central eh, Europe. marcas que están but mirando en, en África, en centro de Asia, de América, right, uh, pero nosotros estamos muy contentos right con, scale, con right Asia y tienen la capacidad y la, la calidad. Hablamos a ver si no me equivoco de unos 40 millones de pares de zapatos en todo el mundo. Globally, I think it's, uh, it's actually close to 50 million. Creo que globalmente son cerca de 50 millones. Yeah. O sea, me he equivocado por 10. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a lot. 10 million difference, yeah. But, uh, ¿Qué volumen de negocio supone eso? Which is the volume of uh, business for that? The volume, sorry. The business volume. Of volumen de negocio. The turnover or? Facturación anual en todo el mundo. 
Globally, globally um, the, in euros, more or less, about 1.8 billion euro. Eh, 1.8 billion. Organization. 1.8 billion. It's a fairly significant uh, business. I mean, after after the sports brands, after the usual es un suspects, uh, we, we, we call ourselves uh, the biggest brown shoe company somos, in the world. Somos la uno, so outside eh, of sports company, brand, we're the biggest single eh, brown shoe zapatos. brand in the world. So it's mundo. quite a big operation. Estamos, dicen, en medio de la recesión y otros finalizando la, la recesión en Europa. Parece que los mercados se mueven mucho. Eh, ¿Qué planes de futuro están haciendo? I mean, as we, as we talked about a little while ago, I mean, we st we're still pretty much on strategy. Um, Different brands, I guess, approach the, the economic situation in a different way. Um, we have a very strong uh, base of customers and partners. Um, they're, they're loyal to our brand, and we bring, we bring, I guess, different support and solutions that, that maybe some other companies don't. So, I mean, I, I can give you one example, um, Greece, which is a very challenging economy. In the last uh, two years, it has been percentage in our biggest growing eh, market in Europe. Años ha sido el que más ha incrementado so, eh, en ventas. It's not that we eh, we can't ignore the, 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 the so-called crisis or the, or the backdrop of, of the economies. We don't ignore it. No estamos ignorando la crisis, it's pero it's not stopping us as a, pero as a no brand developing. Marca, we just approach things at a different angle, I guess. Estamos um, viendo las cosas de diferente forma para poder ayudar. ¿Cómo se comporta España como consumidor? Eh, how is the way that uh, Spain is reacting uh, as a consumer? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting because um, people, people have a different uh, view on what, say, the economic conditions means in, in Spain. Tiene um, formas de, for, for us, de actuar, we, para nosotros, we've been concentrating our product development in Spain to make sure el producto, we have the right uh, balance of, of products in terms of pricing architecture, el precio, in terms of value. Precios, el valor so del producto, we're less concerned with, the, with an immediate y, y price. Menos, we're we're, we're occupied with... En, is this shoe delivering value for money? Es más, eh, lo que um, vamos a dar por, eh, in the last two years, por, we've started to see calidad. growth again in the Spanish market for Clarks. So we're very, very, um, we're confident that we're on the right strategy. The guys at the buenos, moment are, are, are putting in the, the new sales for spring, summer 15. Para primavera, verano 15. And it looks eh, like we, we'll have an order, an order book nearly 20% higher than last year. So for us it's a good indication that we know the economy in Spain is, is difficult, but if you're doing the right thing with the right partners and the right strategy, it doesn't mean to say everybody has a Someone asked me some time ago sí. nos, me preguntó, if you have a 25% unemployment in Spain, si it must be very difficult. De, 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 and my, my reaction is with, it means that 75% of people eso have a job. Decir que and that's who we need to sell our shoes to. Yeah. Yeah. Déjeme hacerle para terminar una pregunta un poco trampa. Eh, usted sabe que España eh, ha sido un buen productor de calzado, que tenemos una zona de España donde se produce calzado. ¿Qué circunstancias se tendrían que dar en España para que una, una empresa como Clarks, por ejemplo, eh, colocara aquí parte de su producción? ¿Qué tendría que ocurrir en España? para que una, una empresa de calzado como Clark localizara en España su producción. That's probably a more challenging question. Um, I mean, what's interesting, I mean, European manufacturing, you know, if you take Italy and Spain, historically big manufacturers of footwear. Um, and then the, I guess the globe was changing over the last 15, 20 years. I mean, who knows? I mean, some, some people think in time, the manufacturing base will shift again. Um, we, we used to make uh, quite a few shoes in Portugal, and in a small way now we're making we're making some shoes in Portugal uh, right now for some of our uh, stores. So 
in time things can change. Y um, el tiempo, las cosas the, the expertise and, and, and the historical position of shoe manufacturing in Spain is so rich. Es you never buena. know. O sea, que you, I mean, you never know. And sometimes we maybe look at a specific collection, and for some reasons we make it in Brazil or we make a little bit in Italy. You know, Italy who knows? We we, o sea, we might turn the tap back on at the minute. I guess it's not in our plans, but uh, who knows? It could happen. Pues esperamos que sea posible. Les deseamos mucha suerte y bienvenidos a España y a Barcelona. Thank you very much. Thank you. ¿Cómo es su frío, Perfect. Yeah, yeah, no, perfect. Perfecto. Gracias. 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 Yo también he sufrido por el. ¿Han puesto el aire? Sí, es que no se puede. Ya bueno, bien, más o menos. Muy bien, ¿no? Sí, nada, cuando queráis, ¿no?